Hi, my name is Mr. Strauss, and I'm here to teach you beginning bassoon. Today, we're going to learn about the parts of the bassoon. First, you'll need your bassoon, and you'll need to make sure that you set it on a hard surface, such as the floor or a firm chair. Next, you'll need to know how to open the case. Remember, the case latches latch up. You'll see this in a, another video that I make about safely opening the case. Next, you'll need to open up your case, and you'll see that your bassoon is laying there. If you haven't done this already, you might want to take a picture with your phone or your computer device so that you know exactly what your case should look like when the instrument is put back in the right order. Now, let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the boot joint. The boot joint is known as the bottom, hence the boot, and it has two holes. This is where the air goes down through the small hole, and then it goes out through the big hole. It does loop around down here in the U joint. Now, I just showed you that this comes apart. Now, for your instrument, please don't take this apart, and especially don't take this off. They've gone to great lengths to make sure that this metal and this cork and this next piece of metal are all together and we don't want to bother any of that and cause a leak on your instrument. So just know that it's there and don't take it apart. Okay. Next at the bottom on most of your bassoons, but not all, most of your bassoons you're going to see that there are two holes down here and this is where your seat strap connects them together. Okay. Your seat strap is going to be something that looks like this. It's going to be a piece of leather, and it's going to have a hook on it. That hook will go down here when it's all done. We won't need that for this lesson. So we know that this is called the what? Excellent. I'm going to put that down and show you the next part. The next part is the wing joint. The wing joint is the smaller hole on that boot joint. This part right here is what goes in. It's called a tenon. Okay, and we have to be careful of this right here called a bridge key. Okay, bridge keys, notice how they just kind of hang out here and they can get bent. So we gotta be real careful when we put the instrument together. Notice I'm telling you about it now because we can never be reminded too much to be safe with our instruments. Remember that a bassoon can cost anywhere from five to $30,000. If you think about that, that's about the price of a car. So be very, very careful. We know that this is the wing joint because it's curved right here. Now that curve is where our base joint sits. Normally those are kept right next to each other in the case and this right here is the base joint. It's the longest one, so some people actually call it the long joint. I call it the base joint, and it has two of those tenons on it, and that's one of the ways that you can remember. All of the keys are operated by our thumb or our pinky. The top of our bassoon is called the bell. We know the bell because it only has one key right here in the front, and it goes on top of the bass joint. Last but not least, we have probably the most expensive part of the instrument. It's called the bocal. The bocal goes in the top of the wing joint, and it connects our reed over here to the instrument so that we can hold the bassoon off to the side. The bassoon would be about 12 feet tall or long, if we stretched it out, that's why it's all doubled up. Now, the bocal will always be held up here at the top. These cost about $1,000 each, and we don't want you to bend them. Never, ever hold a bocal over here, okay? Always hold it here, whether you're putting it on or you're just carrying it around, and you'll never, ever have a problem with the bocal. Now, before we end, 
I want to make sure that we review all the different parts. I'm going to hold them up and I want you to say the different names. Now, make sure that you practice doing this and watch this video several times so that you get it right. Assembling the instrument and knowing the parts of the instrument are the first step to being a good bassoonist. See you in the next video. Thank you.